Yes, saints of God. Welcome back to part three. We're having our beautiful conversation on what the precious Lord laid on my heart about faith. Hallelujah. One of my favorite subjects in the word of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Faith is so awesome. It's so in-depth. It's so precious. It's so, um, it's, it's vast. Hallelujah. It's just phenomenal. It's awesome. Hallelujah. The just shall live by faith. The just shall walk by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith is awesome. So we're going to just jump right into, um, this is part three and we're speaking about faith with our works. Are dead. Hallelujah. I say again, faith, faith without works is the crucial. Hallelujah. Like we were saying on the second segment, hallelujah, part two. A lot of people in the body of Christ, um, they're so gifted, they're so talented. God has installed it in place, equipped them with beautiful gifts for the body of Christ and for other people that God has assigned them to reach. But sadly, say, to say this, a, a lot of Holy Ghost filled believers, um, they don't, they don't act on what God already, um, told them from the get go from jump street. Like we like to say. <laughs> they let the world, they let the enemy, they let other people, they let them own selves coach them out of the many, 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 many blessings that God has for them. I repeat, people allow, basically, we're going to just say this in a nutshell, people allow the enemy to tell them, to, to get them out of the proper mindset that God has for them and they don't reach the, the potential. They don't get all the many blessings that God has placed and he has in, in stored in the earth realm for them. It's sad, but I'm here to tell you that, hallelujah, we have to shine light. We have to be the light. We have to let our brothers and sisters know that faith without works is truly dead. Hallelujah. Excuse me. If God has placed something in your heart, in your spirit, and you know you're supposed to be doing it, walk out on faith. Hallelujah. I say again, if God placed it in your heart and your spirit to do, you need to walk by faith. Hallelujah. You need to do it. I'm speaking to somebody who's going to see this. Hallelujah. That's why I love doing these for God. It's prophetic. Hallelujah. It's going to meet whoever it needs to meet. Hallelujah. 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 We just we just serve God here at Arthur Mars Ministries. We are just a willing vessel. Hallelujah. God knows. Hallelujah. Everything. We trust solely in God and his holy word. Whatever God wants, that's what we say. We try to do, hallelujah, to the best of our ability through the precious Holy Spirit. But this is for somebody. Hallelujah. Faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. You don't want to get caught up in the mix. What I mean by that is this. And it's a shame. We have to rebuke that stuff. We have to rebuke the enemy and get him out of the way, get him out of our churches, get him out of our households. Hallelujah. We have to really get in our word in the presence of God. Hallelujah. When was the last time you actually stood still and really heard the voice of God? God is talking to you right now. That's why he placed a fresh manna inside of me to do, because it should be a fresh word from God every single day. That you get from God. Hallelujah. It's something that God has for you. A special purpose. That God has in place inside of his precious person. That's you. You're a precious soul of God. God loves you so very much. It is purpose and reason why God hasn't called you to heaven yet. 
So you have work to do here. Do not be discouraged. Do not let your own self talk you out of it. I love Brother Les Brown. Hallelujah. He was speaking about, and I'm going to just paraphrase a little bit about what he was speaking about. Powerful. He used to go to these seminars. Hallelujah. Of some of his favorite speakers. Hallelujah. And he used to see them speak. But after he seen them speak at the same time, he used to see him when when he used to see him speak, he was like inside of him. He was like, I could do that. I could do that. But soon when he got out of the session, when he went back into the car by himself, here come the voices again trying to talk him out of it. You can't do that. You don't got no degree. I ain't aware. Nobody want to hear your story. Listen to him. The just live by faith. Faith without works is dead. It, it happened to all of us. You have to rebuke that stuff. You have to walk by faith. You have to make it your business. Ask God to help you to put that fire behind you and do your purpose. Fulfill your destiny. Leave legacy. That's what we are talking about at Arthur Morris Ministries. Hallelujah. <laughs> walk in your calling. Right? Hallelujah. Fulfill purpose. Fulfill destiny. Hallelujah. Leave legacy. Hallelujah. But faith without works is dead. You can't get all these many precious blessings that God has in store for you. And look what's so beautiful about it. You just don't bless yourself by being obedient to the vision that God has gave you inside of you. You just don't get blessed, but the people around you get blessed. Look how beautiful is that? You're just not blessing yourself. You're just not in it for yourself. That's how God is a good God. Everybody around you get blessed because of your obedience. Hallelujah. So it's a must that we live by faith. It's a must that we walk by faith, not by sight. When God shows us inside of our spirit what to do, we need to get with the program and start speaking what God says about us and what he shows us and start rebuking our the flesh. The Bible says nothing good in the flesh. Rebuking the doubts. Rebuking the naysayers. Rebuking Satan. Hallelujah. Because he's He's going to always speak lies. He's the father of all lies. But we are here to tell you at all the Mars ministries. Hallelujah. What does says the Lord? God says you are a champion. God says you are a winner. Hallelujah. God says you are more than a conqueror. God says you are a royal priesthood. You are a king. Hallelujah. This is what God says. You are a child of God. Hallelujah. You are the righteousness of God. You have to speak and decree and declare these things over your own self. The vision that God gave you, you shall take flight. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. So we're going to leave you with that. We're going to get into another part. Hallelujah. Part four. Hallelujah. About faith. It's a beautiful thing. I love speaking about faith. God's word is so crystal clear about faith. Hallelujah. It, it, acts, it acts, activates. Hallelujah. Uh, beautiful things in your life when you're obedient to God and you use the faith that God has given to you. And the beautiful thing also is God grows your faith time time after time, hallelujah, year after year, hour after hour, month after month, day after day, God just, he grows, he grows your faith, hallelujah, in him. You get more confident in the things of God. Hallelujah. And that's why I love why he used that's that's one of the reasons why God used the analogy of a mustard seed. Hallelujah. Just to let you know, like it's going to get stronger. You just keep rolling with me. It's going to progress. It's going to grow. Hallelujah. So we're going to leave you with that right now. At all the Mars Ministries It's going to be a part four about faith. We love you so very much. We salute you. We honor you and God bless you. Thank you for your precious listening ears. God bless you.